All right, so high level, really, what should you be doing in 2014? What are the main things that you can and should be doing right now to position yourself for success? Well, I think the first thing you want to do is you want to revisit your website for SEO and conversion. And by that, I mean, maybe you've got a website that's really pretty and it's got a lot of good content. Maybe it's terrible. I don't know. But you want to revisit it and you want to look at it and say, okay, is this website written in a way that would make, make somebody want to choose you over the competition? And that's what I mean by conversion. And then is it built for SEO? And the SEO equation is constantly changing, but the reality is you want to make sure that you've got the right pages on your website for each one of your services and each of the, one of the main cities that you're in. And that's the foundation. That's where you need to make sure you're going to start. And I'm going to talk more about each of these as we go. From there, you definitely want to make sure that your website is mobile ready. More and more consumers are accessing the internet via their mobile devices, and you don't want to make it uncomfortable for them to browse your website from their mobile phone. So make sure that a mobile ready version of your site is in place for those mobile visitors so that they don't have to you know, click multiple buttons, scroll left and right in order to be comfortable doing business with you. From there, I really feel like the next thing you want to do is you want to get active in search engine optimization. And that's really the process of building your authority in terms of links and content development. I'm going to talk more about what that means, but you want to commit to search engine optimization and being the content person in your area, putting out great information on your specific um, area of expertise, whether it's plumbing, tankless water heaters, um, HVAC, etc. From there, you want to make sure that you're getting active in Google Maps, and there's some very specific things you can do to make sure you're ranking well in the Google Map, um, you know, claiming your map listing, optimizing it correctly, making sure you're in all the main online directories, and that you have a process in place to get reviews from your real customers in your true service area. From there, social media, I really think 2014, if you haven't already, make sure you've got Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, YouTube, set up for your business, customized for your business, and commit to posting on these social profiles on a consistent basis and commit to getting your active customers who are using you to go in and press the like button, press the subscribe button, press the follow button. Um, you know, if you do that, you're going to start to really tap into the power of the internet. Leverage email marketing. If you don't have something in place where you're collecting the email address of your customers and sending out at least a monthly email out to your database, you're missing a major opportunity. So set up MailChimp, set up Constant Contact, get it built into your CRM, do something where you can start to email market. It's the lowest cost way to connect with your customers and um, remain top of mind with them. From there, if, you, you know, if you've got the website right, if you've got the optimization strategy right, you're starting to rank well, you're getting calls via the internet, business is going well, the next step is then to start looking at these paid online marketing channels. And I think it's a smart time to look at implementing a pay-per-click campaign on Google AdWords, maybe on Bing Search. Obviously, both of those networks give you exposure to basically all of the online search engines. You might want to consider paid online directories. And the ones that we found to be really profitable and really effective are Angie's List, Yelp, City Search, and um, YP.com in some cases. So obviously, you can always have free listings on these sites. We found that having a paid listing that gives you premium placement can generate a good return on investment. Obviously, it's on a market-by-market -market basis. Depends upon your company as far as how many reviews you have on Angie's List and or Yelp. But this is a great place to really make sure you're showing up all the places that people are looking when they need your service. And then very down at the very bottom, right, I, I don't want you to build your whole business online marketing strategy on this, but in some cases, you know, paying for paper lead services like home advisor, e-local plumber, contractors, um, plumbers nearby is not a bad play. And the reason I have it at the bottom is because the quality of these leads tend to be the worst quality leads you can get. But if you're proactive, if you're committed to having somebody on your team reach out to the leads immediately 
and you're willing to you know, deal with the fact that they're probably price shoppers, this can be part of an overall online marketing strategy that generates profitable return on investment. And then, of course, you want to make sure you have the tools in place to track, measure, and quantify. Because, like anything, if you don't have the right tools in place, it's very easy to spend a lot of money and not really know where those dollars went and not know if there's truly a return on investment. So definitely make sure you've got the right tracking in place to see how you're doing and make sure that there's return on investment. Well, I hope you got a lot of value out of that train video. If you'd like to get even more details on how you really should be marketing your plumbing or HVAC business online, I'd encourage you to go to plumberseo.net slash free. There you'll find a video training, completely free of charge, runs about an hour and 20 minutes. That goes into depth as far as what your overall internet marketing strategy should be if you want to maximize the potential of the internet search engines, Google Maps, social media, paper lead services, pay-per-click advertising within your plumbing or HVAC business. So just go to plumberseo.net slash free. You'll be able to access that video training as well as an implementation guide that spells out how to do this stuff on your own. So again, that's plumberseo.net slash free. I look forward to talking with you again soon.